Welcome back guys and in this lecture we'll be talking about how do you learn Oracle database step by step. Now there are a couple of things that you need to note over here. Of course you might be aspiring to become an Oracle DBA or you might also aspire to become an Oracle developer. But don't worry all these steps that I'm going to talk in this lecture applies to both an Oracle DBA or Oracle developer because initially we'll be understanding how do you build a strong foundation. Before even I can talk about what courses you need to start in order to build a strong foundation, we need to understand there are two types of learning. One is certification based learning, another one is real time or job oriented learning. Most of the online trainers today, they only train students on certification based training. That means the training is focused in order to get you certified. But we at DBA Genesis differ from this. Because most of the times whatever you learn in certification is not really used in real time. And most of the times what you see in real time does not appear into your certification. That's the reason all the courses that we have on DBA Genesis platform they are combination of both. We do have certification based courses but they also contain projects which are from the real time environment. This way we force both certification based learning and also real time based learning on our platform. Just to let you know how serious we are when it comes to real time based learning, I would like to show you a new service that we have launched on our website. If you go to dbagenesis.com, you can see we have something called as projects. If you click on projects, of course, we are currently working on projects and it will be released for students very soon. These projects will allow you to enroll into a real time project where you have a manager who will be working with you in order for you to execute the project. All these projects will completely challenge you and push you out of your comfort zone. This is more important so that you know how to handle those critical servers when you get your first job. You will not be nervous when you are working on your first multi terabyte database. And that's the reason these projects are custom designed and completely owned by DBA Genesis. All these projects will be 100% real time and you will have a deadline to complete these projects. I would request you to frequently visit this projects page so that you are updated about what type of projects we are going to introduce in future. Now this leads to a very important question is there no value for Oracle certification guys you need to understand this question from a different angle the certification is required for you to have weightage on your resume for you to distinguish yourself from the crowd Oracle certification will help you do that but the Oracle certification might get you the interview Unfortunately, you need real time skills in order to work on multi terabyte databases. That's the reason Oracle certification is important for you to get inside a company. But real time experience is more important for you to work inside a company. And that's the main reason why we have both certification based learning and also real time or job oriented learning. So how do you build a strong foundation? Let me walk you through all the steps and stages, the technologies that you need to learn in order to build a strong foundation. Understand guys, as I mentioned earlier, this applies to both Oracle DBA or Oracle developer. If you want to become an Oracle DBA, still you need to have the same strong foundation. If you aspire to become an Oracle developer, still this foundation remains the same. First, you need to start with understanding the virtualization. The reason why you need to start with virtualization concepts is you must be able to prepare your own Linux machines at home so that you are able to install Oracle and practice. That's the reason why we propose VirtualBox as your virtualization software that you must master. Don't worry, there is an alternate software called as VMware. Of course, you might already be aware of VMware. But we choose VirtualBox because it's a product by Oracle. Second, it's 100% free. There is no license required for VirtualBox. Once you know how to use VirtualBox, once you know how to install Linux on VirtualBox, then you need to understand SSH tools. 
One of the widely used SSH tool is Putty. The SSH tool will allow you to remotely connect to the Linux machine that you just created in VirtualBox. Of course, while you learn Putty, there are other small softwares that you need to also know like WinSCP, Xming. Do not worry about those softwares. They are pretty small and you can learn them in matter of minutes. Once you know how to create a Linux virtual machine and you know how to use SSH tool like Putty, then you need to move into Linux administration. Of course, in the stage one, you created a Linux virtual machine, but now you need to know how to administer the Linux virtual machine. We will be using Oracle Enterprise Linux in all our courses. The main reason of, for using Oracle Enterprise Linux is it is developed by Oracle. And the second reason is this software or this operating system is also free. You do not need a license. Alternatively, you can also use Red Hat or CentOS softwares to continue your learning in case you are familiar with those operating systems. Once you are done with Linux administration, you need to get into SQL administration where you should know about Oracle SQL language and then clear the 10071 certification exam. So guys, in case if you are pretty good at any one of these stages, then feel free to skip those stages and move on to the next stage. For example, in case you are pretty good with VirtualBox, do not spend time in learning VirtualBox, you can directly move on to Putty. And once you learn the Putty software, then move on to the Oracle Linux. At the time of recording this video, OEL 7.6 was the latest version. So at this stage, you might have this question like what's next? Do not worry about what course you need to complete after SQL administration. First of all, build a great foundation and later on, once you are inside the SQL course, you will be directed as to which course to take next. If you take any course from DBA Genesis, at the end of each course, we include what's next. In that particular lesson, we will talk about what's the next course you must complete. For now, as you're starting your DBA career, your goal is to build a strong foundation 